Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Shirk and welcome to Digital Champions where we speak to some of the most innovative thinkers in the digital space. And joining us from Boston, Massachusetts is Juan Arojave with Skytop Digital Services. Juan, thank you so much for joining us today on Digital Champions. Thank you very much, Charlene, for having me here and hello everyone. Well, tell us what you do over there at Skytop Digital Services. Well, we're a marketing agency, a digital marketing agency specialized in three services, uh, social media management, pay-per-click, and website development. Basically, what we do is uh, we help all small business owners uh, to succeed in the digital marketing uh, area in a process that we coach them every step of the way. We are business owners. And that's our success because we are also business owners. We have other companies and we understand the pain points of the small business owners. And Juan, let me ask you this. When you say you, you have these services and you walk them through the process and I'm looking at the site and you, and you have the social media, which everyone needs, like you mentioned, the website development, SEO, graphic design. So how do you walk a client through? Do you start with, okay, let's look at your digital front door, which is your website. Then let's look at this. Then let's look at this. So how do you walk them through? Because for a small business owner in particular who may be coming to use your services for the first time, it can be overwhelming, this digital world that we all live in. Yeah, uh, it's very overwhelming for many people because as small business owners, you don't have time to do anything, whether you're there to make money or run a social media campaign. You cannot do everything at the same time. So basically the first step is getting to know the client, the story behind the person. So what are the services, the personality, the tone of communication, uh, like really understand the client, the story behind it. So based on that, uh, we kind of start advising or reviewing the website then that's the second step website social media if they have any a lot of times small business owners don't have social media presence um and then after we review what they have and the story behind it then we start uh telling them what would be the best approach based on what they want because some custom some small business owners they only want awareness some others, they want to generate leads. Others want to generate sales. So depending on what they want, we, we, we tell them, what is it about? What do we have to do? Uh, it's a teamwork. So we tell them, uh, we have to build a plan, and this is how it looks like. And we, we have several meetings at the beginning to really capture everything from them and learn and create a strategy. And Juan, it, what I love is that you brought, you said, look, whether you're running a digital media company or you're running another company, because you are running a company. So now I want to ask you, because I know our viewers are made up of people who are just like us, you know, they're digital marketers and also people who want to learn from people like us. So what is your biggest pain point and challenge in running your digital agency? Well, there's the biggest one is basically it was COVID, I guess, for everybody. So digital marketing um, ads, for example, really increased because now there are more people advertising online in Google and social media. So the cost per click and everything, they're going up because there are more people in the same industry advertising and bidding for the same words, for example, right? So uh, let's say if a client wanted to generate X amount of leads uh, before COVID with $200, he was fine. Now that need to be $400, $500. So why is it the biggest pain, uh, pain point? Because small business owners may not have enough budget to get the same results. So for us, it's more complicated. And of course, we have to generate alternative strategies to achieve that. Create funnels through social media, uh, not paid, but organic. So our focus to overcome that is to build a strongest organic presence. And Juan, what is, uh, what is one of the biggest changes that you see coming up in digital marketing? You know, the one constant is that the digital space is always changing. What do you have your eye on and you think folks need to be paying attention to? Privacy. The privacy part is changing tremendously. Uh, there was a big change when Apple uh, now, by default, changed all of the softwares to not opt in into receiving 
specific marketing. Um, that changed a lot the way to do marketing. We we had to to create new tools, new opt-in. The states started changing the regulations. California, uh, so privacy policies may change, uh, and that w- will be a big challenge because now. Uh, we won't be able to do maybe email marketing the way we used to do it. Maybe the social media campaigns cannot be targeted to the same audiences that we did before. Uh, maybe some type of wording cannot be used, some type of graphics. So privacy, I think, will be a, the biggest change and challenge that we will be facing in the next two years. Because that, want- that is very important. Juan, thank you so much. That was great information. And we appreciate you taking the time to spend with us today on Digital Champions and share some of your insight. Thank you very much, Charlene, for having me here. And thank you, everyone. Oh, it's been our pleasure. And if you'd like to learn more about what they're doing over there at Skytop Digital Services, you can check them out on dailyadbrief.com. Well, that's going to do it for us. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk. Thank you so much for joining us on Digital Champions. And we look forward to learning something new with you next time.